FDR and Mr. Craig Waller. Good morning. Good morning, Paul. How are you this morning, my friend? I'm fine, thanks. Good to have you on. You're the former executive officer of the Combat Sports Authority of New South Wales. You're a former international referee and judge. And you've given it all away, Craig, to move up to Queensland. How's it feel? Oh, mate, Queensland's a dream. Um, you know, I'm living <laughs> in a wonderful part of the world up here in uh, Agnes Ward of 1770. I'm actually in Brisbane at the moment, Paul. I've uh, had the pleasure of... Um, actually being appointed by the WBC to come down and um, uh, be the supervisor for uh, three three title fights. Uh, the uh, Mansfield Tavern here tonight, I got two Oceania Pacific title fights on and one World Muay Thai light heavyweight title fight on. We did the weigh-in last night. Everybody made weight without a problem whatsoever, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, I've been away from, from the ring for probably about five, six months now. Oh, actually, a little bit longer than that since I uh, 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 took off from the uh, Combat Sports Authority. But, uh, yeah, I'm living the dream here in Queensland, mate. Got a nice tan happening. <laughs> you got, but you couldn't, keep a, you couldn't keep away, Craig. You found yourself uh, supervising tonight at a Muay Thai show. I knew you, I knew you couldn't, wouldn't keep away for too long from that square circle. Yeah, but- Never could, Paul. You know me only too well, my friend. I've been involved in the game for too long, just like you are, my friend. And, uh, yeah, when you look back and uh, what we've been through in the past as far as the New South Wales Boxing Authority is concerned, uh, which was replaced with the Combat Sports Authority, um, you know, they, they brought in the extra things of Muay Thai and kickboxing, which was pretty much yeah. unregulated for a long time in New South Wales. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, when it, it was, but when it comes down to it all, it's all for the safety of the fighters, mate, in the long run. I do feel that things are going to be a lot better in the future. Yeah. Uh, but at this point in time, it's that, it's that hard time. It's that time where there's, there's a lot of grey areas and they're trying to put a new act together. I'm sure things will be great in the future, but... Uh, well, we're we hoping they are. We, we hope so. Yeah, well. well, yeah, for sure, mate. I mean, you, you as a promoter, Paul, know only too well how difficult it is these days because it's just a matter of interpretations of the act and the regulations at this point in time. Um, but they'll finally get there, I'm sure. I feel confident that the people that are actually working for the Department of Sport and Recreation yeah. in New South Wales and, 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 and all kudos to, to Brian Moore. I mean, the guy is working very, very hard to try and get this done right. Um, Brian does seem to have a philosophy that he wants to get everything black and white, but Paul, you and I know only too well that this game does not have black and white. No. It's a lot of great areas. It's very, it's very difficult just for a fighter or just to register himself online. It's just, it's just so difficult for, from the do that. It, they download their bloods and medicals and, 100 points of ID, and it, it just... You told me about less than a year ago this uh, office work they got, it was going to get harder before it got... It was going to get worse before it got better to register oh, yourself. Paul. I mean, yeah, how, most how much... Fa- most we're, we're pretty close... Are we pretty close now to making it a lot easier for guys like you out in the bush that haven't got a bloody computer to, to try and register their self? Have we, has it gotten a bit easier now for... Will it get easier very soon for these guys to get their cells registered and be able to take a take about here, there and everywhere? I do feel confident, Paul, that that will eventuate, but they will still need to have access to the internet uh, to be able to do these sort of things. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, nowadays you've got to look at it, Paul. I mean, fax machines are dead. Um, everyone's using mobile phones, um, computers and so forth. Uh, the system <laughs> really? that they've currently got at the moment, which is, uh, it, it, it's on the verge of a complete uh, complete this... breakdown, but they are moving into a new system, I believe, and they'll be going through uh, OneGov. Yeah. Um, and, and there's a lot of work going involved with that, but it will yeah. make the process a lot easier. Um, and I do believe it's going to be easier for these young blokes to be able to turn professional as well, because when they write this new act, and they finally get it implemented. Yeah, the old, this old 21 days for uh, yeah. a new fight come through. Yeah, that's going to go. Oh, I mean, thank that God. Has to go. Yeah, it's, it's got to go. There's no doubt about that in my mind. And before I left, I mean, I was quite confident that they were going to get rid of that sort of thing to start with. Um, but it's, it's a bureaucratic red tape to get through and write a legislation. It takes time. Yeah. It does take a lot of time. And it, you've got to understand that. Um, but... That will go, definitely will go. Uh, the only reason that I oversaw in, in, in the beginning and, and my recommendations in relation to that 21 days, it was only to prevent promoters that were 
uh, taking advantage of young fighters and, and dangling a, a dollar sign of carrots in front of them and, and pulling them in for slaughter. Yeah. That was the only reason it was really implemented in the first place. Yeah, OK. Well, a lot of promoters now are doing their best to keep it clean and to put on evenly matched fights. And hopefully one day, you know, they're all going to be evenly matched fights. That's, that's the only way we're going to get boxing back on top in this country. Oh, most definitely, Paul, because if we don't have evenly matched fights, uh, we've got to get rid of this, um, you yeah, one-sided shows where people oh. put on promotions and oh. they, the, 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 the amount of times the, that they bring... killing the sport. It is, Paul. I mean, it's the people that are bringing in bodies from, from Thailand or from Asia just for a payday to come and get knocked out in round one or two and just to pad their records up. And the thing about it, Paul, is when you look at these fighters and they actually come through and they, they, they're looking at getting their record built up to actually fight for a world title, they've never fought anybody of any credibility. And when they get into that ring, they don't know what to hit them. <laughs> A thousand percent, a thousand percent, Craig. Yeah, I mean, you you know only too well, Paul, because you've been a former national uh, contender yourself. And you know how hard it is to step into that ring and have somebody that actually hits you back. Yeah, well, my old trainer wouldn't let me have an easy fight. You you know, when I give it away, a promoter rang up and said, you want another win? We'll get you, we'll get you another win. We'll get you a tie. And I, and I said to Freddie, what do you think? He said, nah, mate, what's the point? you You've hung them up, you've hung them up. What, what's the point of getting a win, an easy win? What's it going to do for you? And, uh, yeah, I Freddie said, yeah. Freddie yeah. yeah, was a very, very smart man, Paul, and he looked after you very well, but he made you work very hard. He and certainly that's did. And that's the thing that you've got to, that's the thing we've got to look at these days, is we've got to actually get these fighters fighting. We've got some unbelievable talent coming through. Oh, we sure, we've I mean, got, got some got great the, talent here. Exactly, you've got the like. I mean, Jack Brubaker is coming through at 100 yeah. mile an hour. I mean, he's looking fantastic, but if he gets any more bloody ink, he's going to need to put on more weight. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to go up a weight division with all the ink that he's got at the moment. But what a wonderful man. I consider him a very close friend. Um, you know, he's a, he, he, he's a local boy from the area that I originally came from now that I've moved up into Queensland. Um, mm-hmm. And... Um, yeah, still good friends with them all. It's great to be here in Brisbane at the moment. Um, you know, I've, I've been flown down from, from Bundaberg, where I'm now living up in Agnes Quarter 1770. Yeah. And oh, what a godsend of a home that is. Yeah. But uh, you know, to be down here in Brisbane at the moment and being amongst all the people in the flight game again has been unbelievable. Oh, that's cool. uh, I worked, worked last night with Brad Vicali and it's been great to catch up with him. And to sit down and get into those dressing rooms and get into the nitty gritty again tonight's going to be unbelievable. You've missed it. You've missed it, mate. You've missed it too much. Five months out, Paul, and I'm desperate to get back. (laughs) Yeah. That's great. Well, look, Craig, it's been great having you on. Uh, We'll cut it there, mate. I've got one more to do, one more interview to do. But, um, mate, life's treating you good by the sounds of things. Yes, Paul, it is, and hopefully uh, we can catch up again. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to maybe get down there at the end of November, early December, and I'll let you know, and hopefully we can catch up uh, and, and, and have a meal. Uh, and anybody else down there in Sydney, I'd like to say a big day to all my good friends and colleagues down there in the fight game down there. I miss you all guys very, very much. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get back down there and, and see you all and uh, have a meal and a cup of coffee together. No, not a beer, just a coffee. Depends what time. Oh, well, you can talk me into a beer if you want to, <laughs> Paul. You know me only too well. <laughs> yeah. No, it's been great having you on, Mr Craig Waller. Thanks so much for coming on. My pleasure, my friend. It's great to talk to you, and you have a wonderful day, my friend. Thanks a lot, Craig. OK, Paul. See you later, mate. Talk Bye. soon. And that was Craig Waller, former executive officer of the CSA of New South Wales.